Welcome to a scene on social media where normal people put viral social media posts to the test. Folks of it, look at that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we got a nice little weed right here. Get in here real close so they can see. Nothing. No static electricity. No more peace needs to work. Remember, if you see any unbelievable BS out there, don't Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, Blossom uploaded yesterday morning one, another one of their famous videos entitled Eight Mind-Blowing Transformations You Can Do at Home. And an awesome fan of the page shared it with us this morning and asked us to put to the test whether or not you can turn a pencil lead into a diamond. Um, I'll go ahead and share the link to that video in the description. And I think it's important to point out that I did a little bit of research and they haven't actually used lead in pencil since 1556. And uh, a couple of websites said that they've never used uh, lead in pencils at all. It's always been graphite. Whichever, you check it out. I'll link all those in the description for you. Um, so we're going to do what we usually do. We're going to take a straightforward approach to this. And uh, I actually got one of these big... Uh, pencils here and I shaved it down and I want to point out and I'll share some screenshots of Blossom's video their diamond is actually three times the size of the lead that they used or the graphite so I just want to point that out and I'll show it to you now and I went ahead and shaved down this pencil and I thought that we would test it with this first and I went down to the art section and got this sketching kit and it actually comes with a full stick of graphite. So I thought we would test that too as well and see if we can make a diamond from a piece of pencil lead. <clears throat> so in the video, apparently all you gotta do is microwave the pencil lead for three minutes and then rinse it with some water to uncover your diamonds. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and take this one that I already pre-did here and break it off. It's a nice big piece of lead, actually graphite. And uh, I did have the kids go outside because uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. So they're outside playing. And we're going to stick this in the microwave for three minutes. And let's see if that destroys our microwave and we'll come back in three minutes and see if we can get a diamond. Okay, so that was a full three minutes and let's go ahead and pull out our graphite that's embedded with diamonds now <laughs> and oh that's hot mm -hmm. <coughs> you want that's, something that should be expected and i'm going to go ahead and put it over here i think i'm going to let that cool down for a minute <laughs> because i imagine if i pour water on it now it will um probably bust the plate what do you think bust the plate well Okay, there's our piece of graphite, and it's a little bit of odor to it. Ugh, a little bit. It's a lot. Is it? I bet it will crack the plate if I was to pour water on it right now. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get another plate. I'm going to put the graphite onto that. Again, this doesn't look anything like Blossom's graphite in their video or their lead. Let's see what happens. Nothing. It's virtually nothing has happened to it. 
I mean, you can still write with it. Let me see, piece of paper still writes just fine. It hasn't transformed into anything. There's no diamond. It's not easily crushed up like in Blossom's video. Hmm. Can you zoom in on that? I don't see any Where is that? changes whatsoever to that. Do you? No. Obviously. Basically nothing. Okay, well let's let's uh ah. let's try the, the pure graphite that I got. Let's set that aside. And here's a stick of graphite. Look at that. Camera. It's on it. Okay, look at that. It's a whole stick of graphite there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can bust that off. I'll stick that on the plate and see if we get a different result with that. Mm -hmm. Dead center. Lay it over the top. Three minutes. And we'll come back in three minutes. Yeah, it's definitely going from the microwave in there. If you listen real closely, you can hear it. Yeah, it's in there frying. I hope it doesn't fry our microwave. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna find out though yes I did look up the hazards of it Gra apparently uh, graphite is non-toxic it takes an extreme uh, temperature to burn it um, but I didn't find nothing in it about microwaving I know it's conductive I know uh, electricity will pass through it um, so it does act as a good conductor of electricity. 10 seconds. All right, we're ready. All right, so three minutes and I bet that's really hot. Do you want? It is super hot. Let me Grab get yeah. this towel here. Yep, it's super, 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 super duper hot. <laughs> I can hear it rolling around in there. Oh yeah, are you recording that? Yeah. Okay, you can see where it was actually arcing. You can see where it was actually arcing if you get in close there see it right there yeah so that thing is super hot but again it doesn't look anything like uh, blossoms did after they took it out of the microwave let's save the plate here and let's put it on that plate and here we go a little water right on it not real hot and it doesn't easily crush in fact it doesn't easily break like Blossom's video did hmm <clears throat> so basically it's just a still a pencil and it writes just like a pencil does no effect at all <laughs> Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. I would say that this is an absolute bust. And um, <laughs> I will... <laughs> I will link um, all the links into the description. Uh, Blossom's video, what I found out about graphite. 
and I want to thank uh, especially I want to thank our fan Beverly for sending us the video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe if you like our channel thank you for watching and most importantly do not forget if you see any unbelievable BS out there on the internet you let us know peace